Hello guys, today we are gonna make a comforter in Marvelous Designer. So let's start. First take a rectangle. This is gonna be the surface of your comforter. Now we are gonna duplicate it with Control C and Control V to make the back of it. And we are gonna flip it horizontally to flip the normals. Now let's just move it to the back. It doesn't have to be perfect. It has to be a nearby so that it will simulate easily. So I think that's good. Okay. Now we are gonna take the edge of this rectangle, right click on it and offset as internal line. We are going to make many lines for the comforter. So let's increase the number of offsets. And increase the distance. Let's just go to 100. That's 200. 250. Yeah. And we can increase it like this. I think 265 is good. Number of offsets 9. Um, okay. And same we are going to do for the back of the fabric. Click on the edge. Offset internal line. Okay. And now we are going to sew these lines together with the segment sewing tool. So let's start. First we'll show the internal line so that we can see them. Okay, let's start. Segment sewing. And you can see in the 3D view it's not fine. Yeah, so this is good. And it's really easy to do it in 3D. So I'm going to do it there. It's rather easy than doing this and see if it's going good or not. So now as we are done with this, now we are gonna offset these lines also. So take this, right click on it, offset as internal line. But we have to select this because it's too many lines for this. So let's make it less. 5 is good. And decrease this distance. Mm, I think it's good. 250. Okay. And this too. Okay, now we are going to sew these also. So let's start. Take segment swing. Start with this. Just see it's going good or not. So it's reversed. Control C. Let's do it again. This and this. Now this is good. So I'm going to do it in 3D. Because there's less chance of mistake in 3D. As you can see the lines. And you can see these are all good. So now we are going to flip them because the gravity is going to apply on them. So I'm going to put it closer to 
the surface. So let's do it like this. Keep this close to Now we are going to simulate. So this is good, but it's a bit flattened. So to make it puffy, we have to put the pressure in it. So we are going to increase the pressure in this first. Let's increase it to stop the simulation. So it will simulate easily later. You're going to put the pressure to 8 and this also to 8. Now we are going to simulate again. So it's a bit better. Mm, I'm going to increase it a bit more to I think 12. This also. So now I'm happy with the result. It looks like a comforter. This is your comforter. I'm quite happy with it. Let's change the color of it so that we can see it a bit better. Fabric. Let's change the color of the other sheet. Add fabric. Change the color. I'm gonna keep it a bit creamy. Apply this. Oh, I want it on the back side. So apply this there. So this is your comforter. Let's put the texture on this one. Let's put this one. And I'm quite happy with this. Um, other fabric also. Mm, let's put this one. So that's your comforter guys. That's really easy to make. So that's it for this tutorial guys. If you like it, please like, share and subscribe to our channel CG Family. Thank you.